Oh, now he's, oh my gosh, look at that takedown. That's a big blue right there. Oh my gosh, this takedown. Hey y'all, Justin with Kite Catfish. Well, we are gonna try it again today. I have been on an awesome bite lately, getting some big blues and some big flatheads on both cut and live bait. And I have got some premium options for them today. Let me put the camera in the chest and show you what we got right here. These dang skipjack are so hard to keep alive in a kayak, but by gosh, I've caught one on the way up through here and managed to keep him alive. He's still swimming there a little bit. So we're gonna drop him down, have us a whole live skipjack down there. I've also got some more skipjack we're gonna use as cut bait, and I have got some yellow bass that we're gonna drop down. That is one of my favorite live baits of all time for both blue and flatheads. They just gobble them up, man. They're a great live bait. So I've got some of those that we're gonna to use today. We're gonna to put some time in. Let me get this bait set here. My dang sinkers hit bottom before the the skipjack there okay there's my sinker on bottom we're going to raise that skipjack up now where he's just two or three feet off the bottom right here and 46 feet of water in front of this creek it's a long creek that goes back up in here it's loaded with bait shad skipjack everything's back in this creek and these catfish been working in and out of here, feeding on them. And man, like I said, I've been getting some good ones on recent trips, so we trying it again today. It's uh, about 2.30 in the afternoon right now. Got a few hours of daylight left. My plan is to fish till dark. So I'm gonna get these other baits on. We're gonna drop them down, fish them vertically, right under the kayak. So 46 feet, they're gonna be down there, 43, 44 feet deep. Here goes our first cut bait down. That's a skipjack head. I'm gonna do a head and a chunk. My cut baits are gonna be on the front rods and my live baits are gonna be on the back. Gonna do a four rod setup here in the kayak today. All of them on Carolina rigs. Three of my rods have stinger flies under the hooks, which are these catfish sumo bait stalker flies here. That'll be on three rigs. The, well, I just put that dang thing in my finger too. Do you see that? Lord Almighty. I may be the biggest thing we catch out here today. <laughs> but the, the rig with the live skipjack on it is just a plain Carolina rig, just Carolina rig with no fly. So we'll get our chunk on here. And then next I'm gonna put on one of our live yellow bass. We're gonna get it down and then we're gonna be fishing, man. Well, here is our live yellow bass. Some things pretty good size too. I got them trolling little while ago so they should be good and lively as well everything's going to be fresh today so these catfish they move through they got no excuses not to eat these baits man we'll get this thing here said i'm just gonna there's my sinker on bottom my real my rod tip down raise it up we'll set it in the rod holder and hey by gosh we fishing man i'm gonna set out here till dark so anything moves through between now and then we're gonna catch them let's have some fun today y'all look right here look right here buddy look right here fish first fish right here is taking some line he hit a chunk actually i think my drag might be he may be pulling line a little easier than he should be i think my drag got hit either way we got hold of him folks yeah, he actually don't feel too bad. Maybe he's just pulling line because he's a strong fish. But this one ate our skipjack chunk. I've had lines in five minutes, maybe. So that's a good sign. Real good sign. This feels like a strong fish, buddy. Oh, he's going to take some more line even with me tighten the drag up. <laughs> that's what i like man that's what i was hoping to get into out here today i just been the last few trips my regular viewers you've seen it man just been tearing up some catfish blues and flatheads both getting good size fish coming through here and i said you know what i ain't if it ain't broke don't fix it right and i'm gonna keep pounding this spot until they quit biting so I trolled my way up through here trying to catch some skipjack and got some and 
and I got one pretty close to here, so I said, you know, I'm gonna try to keep him alive long enough to get set up here. And he is still kicking. Them things ain't very hardy. But he still had a little life to him, and this one here has got in our back line as he swam around. He better not knock that yellow bass off this line. I'm gonna be upset with him. If he does, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a stern talking to about it. It's a blue. I saw his tail, but I didn't get a good look at how big he was. Oh, man. Oh, we should be getting close now. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. I'm going to try to get him out of this back line over here before he knocks my, my yellow bass off. Boy, he's all... He's all wrapped up in that thing. He swam circles around it. This fish wanted some more camera time and he knew if he could get tangled up in my back line, that'd be a good way for him to stick around on this camera. I'm on to you playing fish. Okay, get your hind end on in here. Get your hind end on in here. We're gonna untangle them dang lines here before we show you to these people. Boy, he looked at it. He swam circles around it. Daggone fish. Well, fish number one ain't too shabby. He's got a bad attitude. He's, oh, oh, hey, 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 now. One of y'all tell this fish about indoor behavior. We got rules here in this kayak. He's already tangled up a line. Now he's trying to smack me with his tail here. Boy, this fish right here, man, he's just, he's something. I ain't giving you no more camera time. Well, get on out here. You be thankful for what I give you ungrateful fish man these catfish they got no respect for their elders nothing but that's a good sign to be bit so quickly i mean just a few minutes here into the trip already got fish number one so i'm gonna stick us another piece of this skipjack on and send it back to the bottom and we're gonna hopefully get some of that fish as friends and hopefully they'll be a little bit more cooperative with us and maybe be a little bit more thankful for me making them famous on this video there's the next bait going down Our chunk here is getting some action i think something's got it man he's got it he's got the hook too i was all excited after that first fish bit so quickly but now i've sat here probably an hour close to it nothing going on i'm just playing the waiting game y'all i'm just waiting on fish to get active and work through and boy when they do i got a smorgasbord down there for them I don't care if these fish want breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I got them covered. Let's see what this in here is. See what he got. Did he get the chunk or the fly? It's a blue. Yeah, he ate the chunk right there. A little bit smaller than the last one. As he splashes us in the face. I don't know if he got y'all or not, but he got me. Oh, every one of these fish I got a problem with me today. I don't know what I ever done to them except put a hook in their jaws. Get on in here, fish. Get on in here now. Get it out your mouth. Well, we'll hold him up there, take a look at him. It's a small dink right there, but nice to get a bite again. It's been a been a hot minute. I was just got lucky, I guess, getting that first one there so quickly. I thought maybe we just got out here and it's about to be on but now i've sat here a while but the past few trips out when i've gotten bit it's kind of been later in the afternoon so i'm just sitting here i'm, I'm optimistic man i know it's just going to matter of time before these fish work through and there's some big ones coming through this area right now so let's get us another chunk on we'll be ready for it oh we got another one going down oh that's a nice takedown nice takedown oh man he's stripping line he's stripping line Man, that chunk is getting it done today, y'all. He's still pulling. Man, look at him go. I had high hopes for my live baits, but here it is. The chunk is what they want. Makes no difference to me. That's why I've got options. This feels like a solid fish right here, man. This feels like a good one. He made a run out that way in front of us. 
that's good he went that direction so he ain't over here getting in our other lines this is a smart fish right here he knows how to not get tangled up if they could all be as smart as this one we'd be all right most of them are dumb and end up in the other lines and every which way man this feels like a good fish y'all this feels like a really good one he's still taking some line i don't know what he is yet i would assume it was a blue since he just hit it and took off most flat heads aren't most of the time you know they kind of hit the bait and sit there with it this one here bolted man he's strong though golly bum he's strong i'm just gonna take my time with him we'll wear him down eventually he's making his way back this way maybe he ain't as smart as i give him credit for he's headed back here toward this other line now it's all right he's gonna be this fish right here is gonna be worth a tangle if it happens man he's strong y'all i tell you man this fish right here he feels good he has got my golly whopper rod doubled over He's definitely in that back line, that's all right. Oh man, this is awesome, y'all. Goodness. Yeah, buddy, this right here is what I was hoping to hook into today. I've been getting some really good fish here at this creek. Creeks are good places to fish year round, but every once in a while you'll you'll get on a bite and it's if you got consistent weather consistent water conditions they'll just hang out there and keep moving in and out of it for a good stretch of time kind of around the same hour a day and it's been an afternoon bite for me lately late afternoon hour or two before sunsets when they've been turning on and we're still we're kind of just a little bit earlier than that time frame today but we got us one on right here i don't know what he is yet i'm seeing the bubbles i ain't got a look at him should be any time now all them bubbles coming up right here under us i think he come out of my other back line oh it's blue that's a blue right there that's a good one. that's a good one man <laughs> oh man we got us a good one right here nice nice fish whoo boy he about wore me out man <laughs> oh boy look at this thing right here y'all let's get him up in here oh buddy that's a good one get that hook out of him there man y'all this one right here is fist bump worthy for sure look at that <laughs> holy cow that's a nice one man as big as he is i honestly thought he was bigger the, as long as the fight as it was and as much line as he was stripping <laughs> either way he's a dang good fish man this fish i mean he's not real fat he's just muscular nice buddy <laughs> i love it y'all all right well let's let him go and drop another piece of that skipjack down and man if they want them body sessions that's what i'm gonna give them today thank you mr blue cat there you go whoo y'all definitely fist pump worthy on that one for sure that's what i'm talking about man that's what i'm here to catch well folks i reeled our skipjack up here to check on him and unfortunately he has bit the bullet <laughs> these things just they are tough to keep alive so i'm gonna switch him out we'll use him as cut bait i'm gonna put that other yellow bass i got on in my tank here we'll drop him down well here he is he's going down there we'll see if he can do a little better than that live skipjack did for us if nothing else he'll stay alive on that hook them yellow bass are pretty hardy fish they'll stay down there and 
kick around a good while and I'll tell you man flatheads blues they love them some yellow bass anytime I can get them I usually catch fish with them oh that chunk buddy something thumped it okay now it's going down now it's going down oh man this feels like another good one right here on the chunk man I could have just fished this one day right today and done just fine. Yeah, he feels good, man. This is another solid one. I've sat here another long while, y'all. We finally, you can see where that sun's at in the sky. It's now, right about now, is when the bite's been on for me. Past few trips out, so. I've just been sitting here just waiting, just waiting on them to come through. We got a good one here. The way this one ate it, it almost like it was, it almost just inhaled the bait. I wonder if this ain't a flathead here. It's my rod tip kind of go ba boom like that, and then it kind of took off. We'll see. Either way, it feels like a good fish. I'm happy to have him too. I was hoping for a little more action than the one I've got today, but I'm on these fish's schedule. They ain't on mine. These fish, they don't work for me. I don't pay them enough. <laughs> Goodness, man, he's strong. I can't believe this one bait is all they've won today. The head bait ain't been messed with. The live baits ain't been messed with. I had such high hopes for that live skipjack, but even the yellow bass have failed me thus far. Oh no, I take that back. Look right there. Look right there. We've got a flathead on one of them yellow bass. I want to get a look at this one and then we're going to pick up on that flathead. As soon as I said that, man, what timing that fish had. Our yellow bass, one of them finally got eat. We got some fish working through. Let's see what this one is. Oh, now he, oh my gosh, look at that takedown. That's a big blue right there. Oh my gosh, this takedown. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he doubled that rod over, man. Let me try to catch up with him here now. Boy, when he took off, he took off, didn't he? This is a big blue up here on this one. Oh man. This one here, I'm confident it's a flathead this one i didn't feel the bite i just glanced back while i'm reeling the other one in talking to you all and down it goes man oh boy yeah we got fish working through right now man oh man this is awesome this is what i was hoping for y'all we right here this time of day i tell you it's been active it's been real active and we've had kind of consistent weather pattern, consistent water conditions. It's fall. We had a cold snap last week, got real cold. And now it's warm back up. So I think this other fish over here has gotten my other front line. <laughs> Tag gummit. No, I've lied to you again, folks. That ain't a flathead. That's a blue, and he ain't. This one's hooked in the back, I think. He's got the stinger. Oh, he was in my other front line. Yeah, he's got the stinger in a dang dorsal fin. Well, no wonder he felt so good. Wasn't that a weird bite, though? I mean, it was just sitting there with weight on it. I wonder if we had, like, maybe a small flathead that had that live bait and then maybe the blue come through and uh, who knows you know either way somehow or another this fish has ended up with a stinger fly through the dorsal fin and swam through my other front line this is a good fish man oh man i'll tell you what i'm gonna try to do with him though we're gonna try to quick release him normally i'd like a picture with a fish this size i'd at least give him some front camera time but you can't be rewarding bad behavior 
And if they too stupid to get a hook in the mouth, you can't be you can't be setting a standard like that. To, goodness gracious, that thing's in there good. We may have to bring him in just to get that dang hook out. Okay, I've got this thing by the mouth. He's getting he's getting brought in even though he don't deserve it. Just for the simple fact I can't get that hook out of his fin. There we go. My gosh, I couldn't get that thing out. Well, stinger fly got us another one. This and somehow accidentally. But he's still got that line all around him here. I'm trying not to get a hook in me. Okay. All right, Blue Kitty. I don't give front camera time to goobers like you. Get out of here. Lord almighty. Oh, he splashed the camera too. We got to dry that off and we're going to land our other big blue here. Okay, now it's time to get this one. This one here is definitely the bigger of the two. That's another good fish right here. Uh-huh. Come on in. Whoo, he got the stinger in the side of the face and he got the main hook right there in the corner of the mouth. Whoo! There we go, y'all. Another good quality fish, man. Them two fish, maybe three. I still think it was a flathead that had that, that yellow bass there to begin with, because we just had a little bit of weight on the rod tip, and then all of a sudden it slammed and took off, and I, I bet you we had a small flathead that had the yellow bass, and this guy come through and either tried to snatch it from him, or maybe tried to snatch the fly, or eat the flathead possibly, who knows? and and that other one there got to i'm confusing you now with the other one but you know what i'm trying to say the other fish got the stinger fly in the dorsal fin at least this one here was smart enough hey, this fish here he got more sense than i do at this point <laughs> i can't get my dang dang words out get out of here fish before i talk some more and make a fool of myself all right man well that sun it ain't too far away from dropping over that tree line, so I gotta get some more baits down there quick. The yellow bass on that rod, whether it got eat or knocked off, either way, it's gone. So we'll put another chunk on there since that seems to be what's got us the action today. We still got our other live yellow bass over here, and my favorite bait in the world, this skipjack head up here. Nothing's been messing with it all afternoon. I've switched it out a couple times just to freshen it up. Absolutely nothing's touched. Not even a, a dink tap on that bait today. Everything's been on the chunk. Y'all, the sun has set over the horizon there. I'm going to fish right up to dark. Just see if we get some more working through. But I reckon I'll tell you it's by now. Just in case it gets too dark to film a closing segment with. What a day though. I mean, I was going to have a good day out here regardless. When you get a warm day like this, this late into fall. And you can get out on the water and enjoy it. It's a good time. So I was going to have me some fun today regardless. But throw in these big blues that I've got. Man, it's been an awesome experience. Even though a dang live skipjack. I had such high hopes for that thing. And it let us down. Along with the live yellow bass. Which I just knew them live yellow bass would get gobbled up. But cut bait come through in the clutch for us. And got it done. And got them big blues. So I'm going to go home happy today. But if I get me another fish here before it gets too dark to film with. We'll throw it on here as a bonus fish. And if not, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all.